So, you followed one of our prior videos about license activation, but you still got an error. This video will cover the most likely cases. Clicking the license ticket URL in the license ticket email transports you to the Web Depot page. Normally, the page recognizes available code meter containers as shown, so you simply click the button to activate the ticket. This transfers the license information into your code meter container. Attempting to activate a secondary license without a matching primary license in the code meter stick will cause an error message by the Web Depot about an internal server error. The text of this error message tries to cover a number of different sources of error. In this specific case, it's somewhat misleading as the server can't activate the license ticket, but not due to any time-related issue on the server side. Trying again later won't solve your problem. Rather, a primary license needs to be installed first. The same error will occur if you attempt to apply an upgrade license when the activation conditions are not met. An upgrade to version 4.1 is cheaper if you already have a license for SteelBeast Pro Personal Edition 4.0, but it will activate only if you actually have the version 4.0 license. In this case, it's probably best to ask for assistance in an email to sales at esimgames.com. Please be so kind as to provide the license ticket URL in your email so we can help you faster. If for some reason the computer you are going to run SteelBeast on cannot be connected to the internet, you can work around this obstacle through the offline activation process. This topic is covered in another video.